begin. Let's see what's coming your way. And we do have the Emperor and the Chariot. Aries, um, Cancer energy. So you might be dealing with, <coughs> with an Aries or with another Cancer. If not, this is moving forward, moving on, making a plan, being smart about it, looking at the data. The star card, the wish fulfillment, and the emperor. We know an emperor, um, he chases after uh, his wish fulfillment. He always gets what he wants, right? That's a star. Wish fulfillment, guidance, um, spirituality, answers, right? You name it. You name it. It's a beautiful energy. And the Emperor and the Two of Wands crossroads, right? We need to choose. The universe is saying it's about time to choose something. I know this deck is difficult to shuffle. Let me tell you, the cards are simply not sliding, but that's okay. The Emperor and the Queen and the King of Swords, right? Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but this is being smart, getting your uh, good karma, right? This is about communication, legal affairs going in, in your favor. Again, you name it. And the Page of Cups, this is you and the Emperor. They may be older than you, this person, um, Cancer. They may be more mature. They show up here as the Emperor. They might have a good uh, financial career. Uh, they might be in control, right? Or they might need a little bit of control. Okay, we have. We need to have another shuffle, I know. And yet, because the um, you know, it looks like it feels like paper. Uh, these cards, so they are not sliding, sliding properly. Seven of Swords and the Emperor, right? But they cheated. They they lied. They deceived. They were a disappointment at uh, at some point. So let's see what is the overall energy for this time. And I'm saying the third week of um, October, but we know how it goes, right? And here comes the star again, and we do have the devil. So we are healing a temptation, we are healing some toxicity, some negative energies, some betrayal, some death and transformation, and we are healing and we found the wisdom in it. The Hermit, Virgo energy, Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy, and Aquarius energy. By the way, some of you might be surrounded by people. You know, an environment where we might be a little bit, um, you know, kind of betrayed, kind of in pain. So, um, just saying. Um, but I love this. I mean, the star is the, the ultimate alignment, spiritual alignment and wish fulfillment. Transformation through wisdom and understanding of some and healing and understanding some um, toxic energies around us, some low vibrations. It's a beautiful month for healing, actually, October and November, too, so. Now let's look into the past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Let's look into current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. You have three for what's going on right now, and that's all right. It means we have a lot to say, and we have a lot in common with this person. So moving forward... The uh, possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Bottom of the deck, we have the moon. We have the star and we have the moon. Something was in the shadows. Okay. Something was hidden. Something was deceitful. And we move away. Anyways, the, the overall energy is saying we are moving away. But let's see. Um, so in the past, Cancer... Uh, on your side, we do have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Pentacles, right? Nurturing, loving, stable, abundant. Um, sharing with this person, taking care of them and also taking care of yourself. Somehow I feel a sense of balance, uh, right? The Nine of Pentacles is the energy of, um, of balance, of well-being, of um, healing practices. It's the energy of taking charge of, of um, our own being our own um, spiritual world, uh, health, right? Health and well-being. Um, and at the same time, being the queen of pentacles for somebody, right? Being the nurturing, being the stable, being the uh, rock solid energy around the house, around the home, uh, in this connection. Now, Cancer, if you ask them, you are their wish fulfillment. We absolutely have the nine of cups. This is all that they desired was you. 
and the six of pentacles they reciprocated till the last penny right they gave it back um they are not owing every uh, nothing right that's the six of pentacles whatever you brought i measured up and i gave it back so um and a sense of balance and a sense of justice and a sense of karma that was um, served in this connection and um well you know you were there with shofarman because they were yours right that's the reciprocation balance karma kind of energy um and um and it has an energy of final decisions right because of wish fulfillment and because of what they wanted to do and because of where they wanted to go right now mutual energies and speaking of justice right uh, mutual energies between you and your person page of swords gemini libra or aquarius energy and the justice uh so uh, then trouble hit home right the justice i kind of feel with the with the devil and the transformation that this connection became started actually to be toxic in the past right this is the energy where we became aware slowly um about things that are not going in your favor uh something that was becoming toxic we were getting closer to a to a termination of some sort an ending in a transformation and that's how we moved from uh, being, you know, the kind and the nurturing Queen of Pentacles to being single in the past and making the right decision because Ten of Swords and the Justice and the Devil and the Death, it's a lot of pain for somebody to, to endure, right? And then it comes a time where we say, you know what, I kind of had enough of this and... Um, it's time I take my power back and I kind of feel you took your power back. We have wisdom, we have healing and we have stability in independence. So, um, you know, um, so whatever they did, um, Cancer, uh, for some of you, whatever they did, you were there, wish fulfillment, right? Um, and I hope you have the answers for, for the devil and the death and the ten of swords because it does look a lot of um, you still have you still carry around in your energy the energy of pain of disappointment and toxic energies that we need to um you know kind of um like uh thin layers we need to uh, leave behind slowly and we have justice probably a divorce for some of you a separation we had to deal with legal affairs uh, papers decisions so on and so forth we do have the page um, of swords so communication now, Cancer, where are we right now? In a beautiful place to be. We do have the Magician and we do have the Strength, right? Leo energy. But this is you being on your best behavior. This is you manifesting your future. This is you taking control and this is you with your beautiful energies, beautiful confidence, beautiful tools moving forward. This is also Strength in Kindness, right? So some of you are still... Um, um, going through the process of a termination of some sort and ending. Um, I mean, we do it with a beautiful energy of kindness, right? We still find the strength to be polite, to be kind, um, while manifesting a new beginning, a future of some sort. And I kind of feel that you disconnect slowly and I kind of feel that you are working with the universe, right? That's a magician. Um, and, um, and also the... Um, you know the strength within you know you know what you need to do that's the strength right the courage and also the behavior that is uh, required at this time i do love the wisdom as the overall energy i do love the hermit probably some of you you are manifesting all this by yourself someplace um, some, somewhere where spirituality is reinforced um, the star is the energy of alignment and spirituality magician and the death is the energy of transformation which is again um, you know it takes a certain maturity yes but also a certain awakening um, to be able to transform to accept what we see and then move it and put it into a transformation of some sort now this person of yours they do have the judgment and the strength so they are taming you themselves from calling you cancer somebody wants to call it's the judgment it's reconciliation it's second chances wanting to come back again with you and also the strength just like you you know it's like you hold back they hold back but you hold back because you have uh, this manifestation going this visualization slowly we 
disconnect from a situation and we see the beautiful future in front of you or the one you want while this person is looking back towards you right they are not showing it with the strength taming 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 um you know but hey absolutely one thing of reconciliation here now mutual energy is between you and your person we do have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Four of Wands, and the Chariot, which is you. Um, this is reminiscent of, um, of the past and the foundation that you put with this person. I kind of feel that we are still connected, still attached, still passionate about what you guys had, right? Of course, if this is a fire sign, it can be a Leo. It showed up here twice on your energy, on their energy. Right in the middle of the reading, yeah, that is another fire sign. So um, it has this energy of, I hold on to this marriage. I hold on to this passion. I hold on to what we had, right, both of you. And then you show up here, right? Uh, right at the core of the reading, um, Cancer. But I kind of feel if you are dealing with a fire sign, your energy is all over them. Um, your energy is absolutely all over them. But when it comes to you, we have this energy of movement. We have this energy of manifestation. We are looking not at the past, but at the future. Beautiful energy here. Now coming your way and the outcome of this, um, Nine of Swords and the King of Swords. Making things right, making things uh, balanced, making things fair. Bringing communication and um, having that type of communication where the Nine of Swords is finally cleared out, discussed and communicated and resolved, right? Gemini Libera or Aquarius energy, but I feel it's not about other, per, uh, other people. It can be an, an air sign you are dealing with. But this is putting the mind at ease. I mean, the King of Swords, he is the mastermind, right, of, of Tarot. And it's paired with the Nine of Swords, so you, you are going through some stress. And this is the moment where um, we have the clarity we need to have. We, need, we have the communication we need to have. We put our mind at ease as we are supposed to. Now, this person of yours, if you are dealing with a fire sign, they uh, they feel rejected at this time. Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. They feel rejected and um, they want back. I mean, it's like, can we have a clean slate here? You know, still passionate about you, um, still wanting to stay close to you. This is the energy of taking action. Um, this is the energy also of being a little bit of a social butterfly, but I don't think that's the main concern at this time it's just them staying strong through this feeling of rejection um now mutual mutual energies between the two of you we do have the king of cups and the three of swords hurt feelings right hurt feelings um mature feelings by the way king of cups we know it's a big cup of love mature we know i know who i want you know who uh, you want you know and a lot of royal energies, by the way. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, King of Swords, King of Cups, right? So we are picking up some mature energy here. Might be full of ego, and that's why we stay a little bit, um, kind of at this time, a little bit, you know, um, a step back. Um, and taming both of you, actually, taming and not being yourself, because you want to stay away, probably waiting for the other person to do something but um i love the energy coming your way king of swords is a lot of fairness and justice for whatever you had and it will take the shape you um you need to bring energies back in balance right and this person they feel um rejected so of course we have hurt feelings between um it's the energy coming your way but i feel it's kind of something that's that's how we are transforming at this time because of hurt feelings that's why we are transforming, because of the clarity we now see, right? Because of the um, of the manifestation that we have. We know where we are going. That's the energy on your side, Cancer. We know where we are going. We gave a lot of this connection. We found ourselves uh, probably single and, um, you know, kind of encouraged, right? To be um, autonomous and, and functional. And now that we manifest the future, nobody is actually... Um, keeping us uh, back, right? 
And this person, they want you to show up here. Your energy is all over them. That is a fact. Now let's see. Let Now let's see what we um, are guided to do when it comes to this connection. And we have reparenting yourself. I love this, right? This is being the parent you never had. This is you teaching yourself the lessons that you are supposed to um, to have. This is, of course, nurturing your inner child. It's all about you. Cancer, turn your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experience love. So parenting yourself and look back at a moment where you are loved. We do have self-respect. So I kind of feel this connection, right? They kind of walked all over us. And um, and guess what? It's all about yourself. It's all about you. It's all about your self-respect. It's, it's all about your heart. And also, let's look into the compatibility. Are you compatible with this person or not? Maybe you are not. Maybe the key is there. And then we have expressed love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. I don't feel it's towards this person, but I do feel this is all about a gift to yourself. A gift by reparenting yourself, the gift of self-respect, the gift of appreciating and looking into who would be compatible with you. Sinistry charts, that kind of that kind of energy where we really need to make sure we pick the right partner. Now let's look into the energies uh, we need to put back into the flow. So far, we are not guided towards this person at this time. We do have patience, so we need to put back into the flow some patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. We have spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. So this is about activating, right? Patience by saying under your breath or through the day, I accept that everything happens in divine order. And the spontaneity, I move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. We do have self-love right under self-respect. So cancer, that is, that is a double message. That is a confirmation here for somebody how about we focus on self-respect and so love and self-love we need it we deserve it right so this is how you have to this is what you are um, actually guided to tell yourself i realize that love of self is necessary to love another right i realize that love of self is necessary to love another and i love this even more because we have nine of swords as the energy coming your way a lot of thinking, a lot of um, stressing. And now we have surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. And bottom of the deck, we do have trust. So you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. You have trust and the other one is present. So whatever is happening right now in the current moment, uh, Cancer, we have to trust that it is for your, um, for your own good, for your own inner peace, for your own um, moment with yourself, right? Self-respect and self-love. Somehow I'm firmly convinced that during this connection with this person, we kind of gave up on this, didn't pay attention, and now the universe is bringing us back in balance by focusing on self-respect and self-love. Very important. Now let's look into three general guidance. Can be about anything, whenever, whatever you need to hear. And cancer, we do have clean energy food. So when you fill your body with a healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas and a higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationship. So how about, how about a bit of diet, right? Fruits and vegetables, clean energy food. We do have experiencing grace. Paul the Venetian, wow, experience grace. Share your gifts with grace, Cancer. 
waves of inspiration and love are coming to you and bottom of the deck we do have sacral chakra so you are highly sensitive to chemicals additives processed foods and energies right now respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items situations or relationships so speaking of right sacral chakra and you do have the devil and you do have the death so whatever was stressing you it's so done and it's time for a renewal here. Um, so Cancer, you know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.